Hey there everybody, Jim here. I'm playing a little game now. Uh, give me a minute. Called Do Re Mi Fantasy. For the Super Famicom. This is an awesome game. Um, originally not released in the States. Uh, I think now you can play it on uh, Wii Virtual Console. Um, yeah, this is an awesome uh, action platformer, so check it out. So, that character is Mylon, who first appeared in Mylon's Secret Castle, which if you saw the um, AVGN episode where he bitched about Mylon's Secret Castle and how totally hard it was, skip that little bit there. Uh, this is nothing like that. This game is great. Absolutely love this game. So, check it out. Also jump on top of them, but that only stuns them. Oh, back up. See your health is shown by your uh, the color of your clothes. Which actually kind of reminds me of Booger Man. If anyone Play Booger Man, that was your health indicator, was the color of your cape. It changed colors every time you were hit. Same thing here. So this little outfit will change color. These opening levels uh, in this first uh, world, I think there are seven altogether. Necessarily all that difficult. Um, they do get they do get a lot harder as you go on. And the worlds are very um, varied in their motifs. You know, this one is just like a standard you know, the forest levels, but then it goes into uh, in the second world, uh, the motif is just like food, like uh, in particular like candy and sweets and stuff like that. Um, uh, there's a world where everything is kind of in the motif of like a chapel or some manner, a church, all kinds of you know, stained glass type stuff, whatever, pretty cool. Um, and also, I just uh, I love the music in this game. As you uh, progress in the game, um, lots of uh, awesome music throughout. As I'm about to mention the items in the game, I'm saved by one. Nice uh, piece of bubble gum. That's kind of your your save fall. 
you would assume there would be some kind of save feature because you're, you know, kind of like a Super Mario World or something like that. Just something I would have assumed. This game came out at the uh, tail end of the Super Nintendo's lifespan. I think it came out in like 96, 90, 95 or 96. At some point when the uh, Super Nintendo was kind of sing its last songs um, just came out and there's no save feature instead it's a password feature and um, that's not necessarily great because um, the password will only take you to the world you're in so if you make it to world 2 if you make it to like world number 2 and you make it to like I don't know the 4th stage in world 2 you decide to uh, stop playing. You come back, put your password in a little later, and it'll take you right back to World 2. Um, but you'll have to start all the way from uh, Level 1. So that kind of sucks that it goes by levels like that. Or by worlds, I mean. Kind of like if you were playing Mario 3 and you saved your game in... Uh, I don't know, you're in the second world, but like you're at that level where the sun chases you around. And uh, instead of saving it, you had to get some kind of password that started you all the way back at the beginning. That would suck. So that's the one complaint I have about this game. No save feature. It's password based. Other than that, this game is really, really fun. It gets a lot more challenging as the game goes on. It starts out simply enough, and then some parts will just have you ripping your fucking hair out. All in all, though, an excellent game. I mentioned earlier. That would be embarrassing to lose all three lives uh, right now. Just, ah, I am sucking so hard right now. One up. struck by lightning, it's not fair. available for download on Wii Virtual Console. So definitely give it a try. It is an excellent game. It came out in Japan for the Super Famicom. It's Do Re Mi Fantasy. As in, you know, musically Do Re Mi Do Re Mi Ga Fantasy. Uh, with the subtitle Mylan no Doki Doki something or other. But anyway, that's Do Re Mi Fantasy for the Super Famicom. It's an awesome game. Thanks for watching.